I'm sorry about that. You know, I used to be a teacher, and I remember what it's like to be caught in the middle of two clicks. I suspect they'll find common ground soon enough. It may take a little time, but that's just how these things work. Everything will be fine. Listen, relationships are like any machine. You don't throw them out when they break down. You get your hands dirty and you grease the wheels. What do you say? Will you help me work on them? The two of us must unify our factions for the common good. You know, like Churchill and Roosevelt. They say the world is over, but I'll tell you a secret. It's not. People are more political now than they ever were before. In the end, we can't change the world. All we can do is continue to learn from each other, to empathize and use our heads. All war is a symptom of man's failure as a thinking animal. Steinbeck, have you read him? Well, we have plenty of time to catch you up on your reading. My partner Matthew is amassing quite the literature collection. I think you'll like him. In any case, the point is, as long as we have our wits about us, we can always make the right choice, right? Right. What's the matter, Clementine? Is there something you want to tell me? You can talk to me, Clem. There's almost nothing you could tell me that would surprise me. I can promise you that. I'm worried about your friend. I think that... Don't worry. Matthew will be back soon. And everything will be fine. But I think... Hey, kids. What are you two talking about? Oh, politics. The hell? Well, being from Florida, I would imagine you know all about politics, Kenny. Man, I know one advantage of living in the apocalypse is not dealing with that shit no more. I was just gonna check the windows round back before this storm hits. Give us a hand? Sure. Miss? Please, do you have any food? Are you okay? I saw the house and I have a family. We're starving. We live down there. Uh, of course. Why don't you come in, Miss... Bonnie. Walt, I don't know. You just gonna let her in like that? It's fine, Kenny. We don't know this girl. Then we'll have to get to know her. Right, Clem? Walt. How much damage can this poor woman do? Thank you. Really, but that storm will be on us soon, and I gotta get back to my family. I'll bring something out to you, then. You don't have to do that. No, no, it's fine. What about your people? We've got plenty. You stay put. I'll be right back. I have a little girl like you. How old are you, sweetie? I'm 11. I would have thought older than that. Here you are, miss. This is too much. Don't mention it. I don't know how to thank you. Just help someone else down the line. Thank you so much. I'll be going now. You stay safe. You too. Clem, go on inside and get to bed. Walt and I gotta talk for a second. Clementine, don't freak out. Listen, okay, I gotta tell you something. That guy on the bridge was Walter's friend. I knew something was off, so I asked Sarita about their friend. I know he was. For sure. Damn it. Damn it, Nick. I don't think Walter knows yet, so we have to keep this quiet. I mean, who knows what the hell he'd do if he found out. What if he finds out anyway? Well, then we're fucked. 
But, you know, we'll just... We'll just deal with it then. Now, do you, uh... You still have that knife? Because if it was Matthews and Walter sees it, he's gonna put two and two together. It's with the other weapons. Okay, well, go get rid of it. I'll find Walter and run interference. Oh, and, uh... Keep an eye out for Nick. I'm right here. What's up? Oh, uh... There's nothing, man. I just wanted to check and see if you're okay. Nothing. Hey, if there's something going on, I want to know. No, just go back to bed, Nick. Oh, Jesus. Oh, God. God damn it. Hey, Nick, shut the fuck up. I can't, man. I can't. Do not fucking blow it. Blow it? It's over. I have to tell him, Luke. What? No, you can hey, Nick, you cannot do that. Are you fucking nuts? I gotta. I can't live with that on me. Luke's right. You can't tell him. Listen to her, okay? It's fucking crazy. Jesus. I can't handle this. Look, Clem, just go do that thing, alright? It's gone. like this knife. Gave it to Matthew when all this started. I know he's dead. Who did it? Was it that, that kid? What's his name? Uh, Nick? Heard him talking earlier. Something about shooting a man. I could see it. I could see it on his face. Wasn't sure then. But now? We didn't do anything. Where'd you get the knife then? We found it in the shack. Is, uh, is Nick a good man? Or is he just like everyone else? He's... he's like everyone else. He was always going out alone. I told him something like this would happen, but he wouldn't listen. No, Matt always knew best. What's going on? You need to get out of here. This world is hell. People like Matthew aren't coming back. This is it, and now he's gone! What did you do? Did you hurt him? Did you hurt Matthew? I didn't do anything. Walkers, we gotta shut it down now. Nick, help me. Carry the guns. Guns? That thing's a damn dinner bell. I'll go with you. I'm going to. No! 
It's too dangerous. Rest of you, get this thing shut down. Does anyone know how to do this? Great. I can do it. Okay, we'll watch your back. Nick, scan the trees with me. Something ain't right. Yeah. We don't have much ammunition. You gotta get back to the lodge. They're behind us!
Howdy, folks. Where's Rebecca? Carver. It's nice to see you, too. Oh! Dad! Sarah! Inside. It's you. Keep moving. Look at this place. Fucking place, Bonnie? Power and everything. A lot of windows, though. It's fucking huge. Bill's been hated. Now the rest of them could be anywhere. Man, how the fuck are we gonna cover these guys and look for them, too? Johnny, cover that window. Listen, I'm only gonna ask you once. Where's Rebecca? Sarah, look at me. It's gonna be okay. Oh! Oh! Rebecca! Oh! Rebecca! Our baby deserves to be raised in a place of safety. I know you're out there. Oh! Alvin, Luke, and the girl. This is real simple. You want this over quick. You all play nice. Then show your faces. My dad, please. He'll kill him. No, Alvin. We gotta go down there. I can't do that. Beck, the baby. You need a doctor. No. Where's Luke and Kenny? How the hell am I supposed to know? They're still outside. They can help us. <laughs> Clint can sneak out. Find Luke. What the hell is she gonna do? And you heard him? Carver knows she's with us. Just stop! We're going down there. He'll kill you. Fuck you. Shoot him! Somebody just shoot him! Clem, go get help. He'll kill him, Beck. He's gonna kill him. Rebecca, we have to give up. Under control? I'll try. <gasps> Kenny! 
Don't move! I can't see him! Watch them. do this but you ain't leaving me much choice so here's what's gonna happen i'm gonna march another one of your friends out here and i'm gonna put a bullet in the back of their head <laughs> or you can give up now your choice hi elvin you motherfucker elvin bill no tell him to stop can he stop you remember george alvin you see, I do. I remember a guy that was your friend named George. I remember when you murdered him in cold blood. And why? Because you didn't like me? You could have lodged a complaint. You could have... Well, you could have been civil. Bill, no! We'll do whatever you want! can do this all night! Is that what you want? Where's Luke? Finally cut and run, huh? Why am I not surprised? I warned you. I warned you not to follow him. Look where he's led you. But you're safe now. We're going home. As a family. All right, round them up. We're heading back to camp. I don't know if we could have saved Walt, but I know one of us didn't just give up. Yeah, I know. The folks are sore over what happened. But let's remember, these are our brothers and sisters, and they all have a vital role to play in this community. They strayed from the flock, yeah. That don't mean they can't earn their way back into the fold. That don't mean we can't find it in our hearts to forgive them, knowing full well, those who choose not to accept our love will surely wish that they had. The storm is out. In the pines, in the 
pines where the sun never shines will shiver.